So you know those rare moments in life when you just find something that you just have to try out. After spending $2,800 on this rusty, junky Duramax, and of course the whole goal here is to essentially restore this truck from the frame up. And as far as I'm concerned, we've pretty much already accomplished that with the exception of the bodywork. Now this was not planned. I wasn't actively looking for the rarest bed that GM ever made, but given the condition of how badly rusted out this bed was, I just have to pony up the dough and find a Southern rust-free bed. You see on my journey of looking for a rust-free bed here in the state of Michigan, I spotted this bed in a barn and I just absolutely had to have it. More than likely it came off of a 2002 GMC. It was considered a quadra steer because the rear end turned with the front end and what makes this bed so unique and so special is the fact that GM only sold about 17,000 of these trucks and given the fact that they ended in 2002 that makes it extremely rare and not only that the bed's plastic some of you guys from the west or even people that live in the south are going to think I'm absolutely crazy for spending this kind of money but let's be honest you're probably never going to find one especially in this condition as a matter of fact let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen a quadra steer in person and maybe somebody watching my video actually owned one in the past who knows but let me know in the comments I'd love to read it but what also makes it kind of cool is the fact that it sort of looks like a dually and it has marker lights on it but we'll get more into that later I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride on how I found this bed we're gonna put it on the truck but more importantly what would this thing actually look like on a Duramax I mean who knows it might look cool but it also might look really terrible and I just completely wasted my money now if you're watching this video and you watched the last one I know I left you on sort of a cliffhanger and I do apologize but I'm not going to reveal to you exactly what's going on with the engine until I get the engine parts in so I can make a video on it. So we'll talk about that in another video. So definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell. And of course, once I put this bed on and see how it looks, we're going to put rust free doors on it and maybe possibly a HD hood conversion because it's screaming for one. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get to work. You know, I always pick the most terrible days to pick up parts. I'm telling you. All right, so Giorgio, thanks for allowing me to be here, man. Yeah, no problem. I want to give you guys a shout out really quick. Where are you from? What do you guys uh, do? So we're located in Fowlerville, Michigan. Uh, as you can see here, we got a good inventory of uh, rust-free Southern truck beds. Um, pretty much anything 99 newer, uh, we try to keep in stock. Tailgates, some doors, fenders, truck beds, uh, doors. We can do cabs. If we don't have it sitting here, there's a good chance we can get it by order. Nice. That's a good, uh, it's a good heads up, actually, because I'm looking for one. Um, and uh, what's your phone number? Where can we find you guys? Uh, you can look us up on Facebook, Instagram, Google, um, Redbeard's Truck Parts. Uh, phone number is 517-375-6867. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. All right. So uh, he just pointed this out as I pulled up here. Um, crappy looking paint job. It looks like somebody rattle canned it, but it's pretty straight. That's not a bad, that's six and a half foot bed, he said? Yep, yep. These are all six and a half foot ones standing up here. Nice. And then, uh, ooh, look at that. Looks like someone... Someone uh, had a party that night. Yep, yep, for an uh, ex-girlfriend there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, this bed doesn't look too bad. It's got a little ding. No big deal, though. All these are from Texas, I'm guessing? Um, not quite Texas. Alabama? But yeah, Alabama, Georgia, uh, Mississippi, Tennessee area. Kind of circulate through there. See, you southern guys are spoiled. I'm just saying. Oh, this one must be really nice. Yep, uh, these two black ones here. I got one tucked in back there. It's got the fender flares on it and stuff. That one's nice, another really clean, really straight bed there. Factory paint on it. OEM beds, nothing aftermarket here. All right, so uh, we're not going to go tailgates. I have two of them actually at the house, but wow, he's got a lot of them. Um, do you have any bumpers? Bumpers here, you got oh. um, Super Oh, Duty. you have lots of bumpers. I don't like the newer Silverados. They, they'll fit on the older ones. Uh, yeah, they will With actually. the step side on the... Um, I here? don't have any of the 14 to 18s, but I've seen the 14 to 18 styles on the 99 to 06. That looks sweet. And they tuck right in around the bed. They actually look really, really nice on the classic trucks. You don't have any. I don't. They're oh, real popular. That would be sweet. They're too popular. It's all good. It's all good. All right. Um, how much are your bumpers? Um, 99 to 06 ones, I got for 300 bucks. So you guys heard of quad steer bed, right? That's the Chevy made it for yeah, a for couple, a couple years. years. Yeah, like that 9906 body style where the actual back wheels, they had a steering rack in them so you could turn really tight. Yeah. Help guys maneuver. I actually got a bed here. It's got a little bit wider hips on it, it seems Look like. Look at that. Those but are hard to find. The bedsides are actually a composite, so they're not metal. 
Oh, um, so they won't rust? No, they won't rust on you. What? It's got a spray and bed liner in it. Not very common. Hard to find beds there. That thing is sweet. How much How much are you selling that for? Uh, that one I got three grand off. You, you're not going to find them. Bed. You can't find them. Okay, I got an idea. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. It's three grand. I know it's kind of pricey, but it's worth it. And it's actually pretty straight. We're going to bring it down here in a second. But how many Duramaxes do you see with quad steer six and a half foot beds? And these go on the half tons, right? Yeah, it originally came on the half yeah, tons. Yeah, it wouldn't matter. It would fit anyways. Nope. Half ton, three quarter ton, one ton. As long as it's all six and a half foot, it'll fit on there. Why not be different? This is cool. And it's the same exact color as the truck. All right, we're going to go with it, man. Let's do it. Sounds good. I'll get her pulled for Thanks. you. Okay, so I'm home. Actually, Nick's headed here right now to help me with this bed. We're gonna put it on the truck right now and see what it actually looks like. I was trying to be so careful because the way this bed was loaded on the trailer, the wheels, you know, kicking up the dirt. I live in the country, so, you know, I have to take back roads, unfortunately, but it's all good, man. It didn't scratch anything. I was looking at it. No rocks kicked up at the bed, but overall, this bed's in very good shape. Also, keep watching, because I'm not sure if these will actually turn on or not, but we'll see. We're gonna plug it in. Actually, I think the scratch is right here. It's not even a huge deal. Oh man. Check this out. Yeah. How you doing, man? Yeah, good. Yeah. The unicorn bed. It's a composite material, so it's not actually metal. Oh, it's no like kidding. a plastic. No kidding. I was actually talking to Mark on the phone. He told me just the bed sides alone. I mean, these will bring big money. The for... bottom is still steel. It's just the bed sides of the composite. Right? Correct, yeah. Okay. okay. Yep, bottom is still steel. Steel, steel. <laughs> So you're looking at a 2011 Power Stroke 6.7 liter. I want you guys to stay tuned for some later videos because we, we got some pretty interesting things to go over with this truck. I think, even if you're not a Power Stroke fan, I think it's gonna be interesting to watch. Nice truck though, the King Ranch. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can talk my buddy into helping me out here, get this bed on there. Shouldn't be too heavy though. Do you remember looking at this truck before, when I first bought it? Do you remember that? I do. So, the entire thing looks like this. Shout out your YouTube channel really quick. Mine? Yeah. Yeah, Diesel Ranch. Check them out, man. Diesel Seriously. Ranch YouTube just started up, so I'm excited about it. I haven't, I don't have a lot of content yet. Before I put the bed on the truck, one thing I wanted to share with you guys, you see how we have sort of the raised hood profiles, kind of like cowl inducted. It looks really sweet. This is what you call the HD version or the HD style hood. But this is the issue that I'm having the most with is this ugly cat eye look on the front end and it kind of swoops up and then kind of does that versus this one where it's just straight across. Kind of cat eyes and then it just goes straight across and it looks more streamlined. I mean, everybody likes a cowl hood, so if it's a little bit higher here, everybody's gonna like that. Oh yeah, but but tell me that doesn't look better. I mean, that looks way better. That front end, like the, with that straight line versus this weird funky looking like, you know, indent in the hood. I'm just, that, I don't know, let me know in the comments, guys. Load it up, everybody's got a preference. But this is why I most definitely am doing an HD hood conversion on this truck. Uh, and the, really the only thing you have to do, you don't even need to replace the fenders. All you gotta do is just get a grill for it. You can u use your existing headlights. Oh, so this cutout is different on this as well? Yes, yes. Oh, that's straight across. Okay, I see what you're doing. Yeah, yep. it's kind of hard to pick up, but yes. yeah. So that we curves upwards, whereas that one, straight across. Right, yeah, that's kind of the deal. Like, this is the old school looking, which some people like, but I, I'm not a big fan. So, I don't know. So yeah, we're gonna most definitely do an HD hood conversion. Um, I got new headlights for it and I just purchased a new grill for it. So it's all gonna look like this when we're done with it, which is gonna look so much nicer. I Where do you know. get your headlights from? eBay. They look cool. Yeah, and the boost mirrors. Yeah, the boost Color mirrors. matching. Yeah, I think these are, I, I can't remember, I think these are the sequentials. Do they do nope. it? Nope. Oh, these ones don't. Well, do. maybe on hazards it's not. Maybe turn signals oh, would. Oh, yeah. 
Is it doing it? Nope. Oh, okay. These, are, these aren't the switchbacks. They're switchbacks. Switchbacks. Yep, I also had that, the switchback. I did not do the sequential on my six liter either. It was just an extra yeah, just a, little a little bit of bit. money that I didn't feel like I wanted to spend on it, but. This thing needs to get clean. Yeah, but yeah, that's that the story. Sharp. I don't know, we're gonna keep the truck around. I really don't want to lose it, but we'll see. <laughs> Everybody's saying do a giveaway, but I, I... it's a thousand horsepower diesel. I, I can't get rid of it, man. It's just too different and too cool. And the wheels are definitely gonna go eventually, but that's that's it is what it is at this point. Could you actually bring yourself to get rid of the wife max though? No, I can't. Yeah. Like the the powder, everything's powder coated. It's just such a nice you truck. So many hours into that thing. Well, let's go ahead and get this bed on the truck really quick. What do you think? Okay. Yeah. This is gonna be different. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. It's not gonna look like this. I don't think I've ever seen one. Where the bed is like you see the bed right here, this bed? Oh yeah. Some people are gonna either hate it or they're gonna love it. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm gonna think yet. I've yeah, never actually either. seen a quadrasteer bed. I've, I think I've seen a marketplace ad for a quadrasteer truck, mm -hmm. but that said, I've never actually looked at it up close. It's gonna weigh but. nothing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm thinking if we have some like wide tires in the back like these, it, it's gonna fill up the rand a little bit. But and also, uh, I'm gonna see if the lights work too. All right, let's do this really quick. So right now we're talking about the box sides. They're actually composite materials, so they're plastic. So when we lower this thing down, we're worried that we're gonna put too much pressure on the corner and it's gonna break. If it breaks, I'm gonna be in big trouble. So we're trying to figure out a way to chalk it. That way it doesn't do that. That's too much money wasted. <laughs> yeah, three grand. Yeah. Although I could just get my fork, but it's not gonna go that high. What do you think? A blanket across the edge? I think Josh has some blonde traits. So yeah, the, that's what we were worried about, the corners being buckled, so we were able to get it down safely. Now it's gotta lower it down, back the forks up. guys what do you think i'm wondering i'm curious if this is gonna sit higher than your stock bed and you're gonna have a bigger gap between your your uh, hitch here it doesn't maybe not it doesn't really matter the truck's gonna get painted i keep saying that but at the end of the day it's cool to be at least get a vision of what this thing's gonna look like but now i'm really like on the fence i'm not saying i love it but um it's just, it's different i don't know it's different. I'm going to be real. I'm not going to be like, oh, this is so cool. It's cool because it's different. That's about it. That's about all I got right now. You definitely need. You know what this reminds me of? What's that? It's like uh, one of those Ultra 4 trucks. The Sand Racer. Oh, like you the California Baja yeah, yeah, like trucks? The, yep. Just yeah. the bump out in the bed just a little bit. Not dually size. Now you just need some fenders that do the same thing. Yes. Well, front fenders, yeah. Although we do have the uh, wheel flares on the front, too. So, I just need to put uh, a little bit of wider axle on the front and back, make this into a, an actual Baja racer truck. I don't know, cool. that's just a goofy, uh, but that'd be sweet. Appreciate your help, dude. <laughs> wow, that was helpful. Yeah, not a problem. We Pretty didn't similar. break the bed. That we, I just, yeah, that would have been a bad deal if I tried to do that on my own because I probably would have ended up cracking the 
plastic on the You see, now what we need to do, we need to take these tires and put them on that truck. Just because it'll fill up the wheel well space. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Might look a little funny on the front end with the bed all bumped out like that. I, I don't know if I can do 22s on that thing. I, I'm trying to keep it simple. We'll see. I, well, you definitely have to do a lift, and you said you weren't sure if you were gonna. I don't know, not after putting that bed on it. It, 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 it would look weird with a lift kit. Ah. It might, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do an HD hood conversion on this truck. All you have to do is replace the hood and the grill, that's it. The grill's different on this one, so you're gonna have to take a grill off of a truck like this, right there, in order to match up the hood body line. Actually, I don't even think the hood will shut if I tried to reuse the old grill. And it would look a little silly. And we're gonna put some new headlights on it. It's gonna look really nice. Here's the truck in all its glory. This is what it's gonna look like. Let me know in the comments, good, bad, or indifferent. I don't care, don't hurt my feelings whatsoever. Uh, let me know about the sort of bulged out tailgate or bed, let me know. <laughs> and then also, I'm thinking about doing wheel spacers in the rear to kind of widen things up. And we may or may not in this video put the Black Anthem negative 24 offset 20 by 12s on this truck. They're a lot wider, they're 33s. Um, it's gonna look a lot nicer, I think. But a lot of you guys are saying go with the bolt hole old school style wheels. So we'll see how this all matches up and looks, but it's gonna look really silly because we're gonna have a different color hood, different color doors. All right guys, so there's like $3 and change on the ground. Check it out. So I have to take the seats out only because when we do the rockers and corners and stuff like that, uh, we don't want to burn this stuff. I'm not too sure if we should take out, I can't flip that up yet, but the back seat flips up. I'm not sure if we should take that out or not. I'll go ahead and ask Roy at A&D Repair when we bring this to the body shop about that. That shouldn't take too long to remove. I'm not too worried about that. But for the most part, we got it all off. We're gonna go ahead and put the doors on it right now, but it looks pretty sweet. Oh, it's terrible. So it's the very next day. We had like a snowstorm or something, but I'm gonna continue to plug away at this. Keep watching because we're gonna put the headlights and grill and all that. It's gonna look really nice. Probably not the front bumper. The front bumper's gross anyways. I probably won't put it on. I gotta vacuum all this out, pull that seat out. Um, but uh, yeah, last night I had to put the Cummins in the garage because I didn't want it getting buried in snow. And I got some stuff I wanna do to this thing anyways. But just bear with me, I gotta get things situated before I can start the day. But I wanna close this video out, put the bumper on. Oh, we got a bumper, guys, we got a bumper. We got a bumper. It's been a few days since I went down to the guy's house and looked at the other bumpers, but after that I got dead set on a 2014, 2015 Silverado bumper. I wanna see what it looks like, especially on the back end of this thing. I wonder how it's gonna look, considering it is a little bulged out on the end. I think it's gonna still line up. I think it's gonna look good. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be very upset because uh, I just wasted my money. so it's pretty cold and the garage has not been warmed up last night so unfortunately we had to do a cold start on that old girl we're 
gonna go ahead and let it idle for a little bit. And shut this door, it's cold. By the way, that's how I keep my shop warm in my house. It's invaluable. But now that we have the heat kicking, I'm gonna go ahead and get back in the shop and keep working. This is gonna be our rear bumper. It's gonna look nice. I hope it fits, I really do. We're gonna find out here in a second. Um, I may not hang it just yet. I had to pull off the old brackets from here. They were kind of rusty and gross. So I went ahead and just wire wheeled them down. And I actually have them sort of sitting and drying right now. A couple other things. This is gonna be my exhaust tip right here, which I'm gonna have to kind of cut the end of the exhaust a little bit just so it'll fit. But overall, I think it looks pretty good. Now onto the lights off camera. I spent about, I don't know, about 30 minutes just diagging wires, just uh, using my voltage meter and stuff to figure out why these weren't turning on. But I'm definitely missing a wiring harness to this bed, which I'm not really too concerned about because I know I can get these things to work regardless. Let's see what else do we have? We have a brand new grill here in the front. I don't wanna get too crazy, but there you go. It's gonna look good. I'm gonna clip that on there. I am missing the emblem and the corner pieces, which I still need to order. And then of course, we can't do this without a fresh set of headlights. Let me show you what I got. Look at that. Woo! They look nice. Same exact ones on this truck that are in this box right there. Now, as far as the interior goes, went ahead and just vacuumed it out. It looks pretty nice in there. Just like any build goes, you gotta start gutting stuff out. You know how it is. I'm all over the place today, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and fabricate some brackets. I'm gonna go ahead and weld some stuff up and make sure that this thing actually lines up right. So I'm gonna be doing that later, but obviously not in this video, but I like the look of it. I'm just trying to get a visualization here and trying to share it with you guys. But not a bad looking setup so far. She's coming along for sure. I know it's hard to visualize it because I don't have the front bumper on it, but I think once everything ties together, you're gonna love it too. Now, after this, once I fix actually the leak, which I'm gonna talk about in the next video, it's actually very concerning. This isn't clickbait, this actually really sucks. It's gonna take me a long time to fix this problem. But here's the thing, once I fix that, this is gonna go hot and heavy, it's gonna go quick. We're gonna be headed to Haslett, Michigan to A&D Repair. We're gonna go to their body shop and we're gonna be plugging away at YouTube videos on the full body restoration slash paint job. And it's gonna be awesome. I know they're gonna knock it out of the park. Those guys know what the heck they're doing. But here's the dilemma that I'm in right now. I was just talking to my dad who was in here should i'm sticking with this actually the body shop doesn't even know this so i'm sorry if you're watching this roy but should we keep the same pewter gray just like that right the gm silver or whatever you want to call it or should we just do black should we just do a full blacked out truck i know it's very common i know what a lot of you guys are going to say but i don't want to do something outlandish i love the blue piping i love some of the gray accents that i've already done inside of the engine bay i know it would complement it nicely with these nice bolt hole wheels but should we make this thing a black truck that would look sweet. Tinted windows, black truck, boost auto parts, tow mirrors, make her a little wider in the back. Color match the door handles, color match the mirrors. You know what I mean. I just want something simple. I mean, you know, you got white trucks, black trucks, red trucks, stuff like that. I don't know, let me know in the comments. Should we do a complete color change? Or should we keep it sort of a gray, maybe a battleship gray or a Nardo gray? I gotta get the Cummins back in the garage because I'm gonna be working on this thing off camera as well. So I gotta pull this thing forward and get this thing back in here. But that is all the time that I have today. Thank you so much for watching the video, supporting the channel. Of course, leaving your comments, your feedback, going on the website, purchasing key tags and stuff like that. I just love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to continue the progress on this, but we'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned.